But plants are not sentient. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been enough with all those food critiques. We talked about the vegans, we talked about what they are eating. It has been enough. Today we're going to listen to a former meat eater who converted to fruitarianism. He has a very important message to share with us. His video is titled, Why You Need to Evolve. Let's take a look. Um, I want to talk about how you can never truly uh. be living this life in a truly happy, energetic, passionate way mm. as a meat eater. No, okay. And this is my experience. This is only my experience. Mm. And it's what I observe <laughs> in people. So, I used to be a meat eater, a heavy mm. meat eater. Wow heavier meat eater than anyone that I know mm. in person. I never met anyone in person that ate more meat than me. And I had a desire to do things. I had passion. I liked, I wanted to live. I wanted to do things that I like to do. You like to do things that you like to do. That is very deep, man. Please proceed. But I couldn't all the time put mm. my all into it. I couldn't fully embrace it because right. meats dampen they dampen your mood they dampen your <laughs> energy they dampen your drive uh, and mm. just that flicker mm. of i need to change the world mm. kind of thing you mean the starvation hysteria was missing i get it yes people have it but you'll see it in everyone in society <laughs> and 100% of the time people that eat meat it completely fades away by 100%. the time most of the people reach the age of 50, which to me is just ridiculous. That's like when you should just get things starting to go. That's when you should <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the vegan logic. When you're 50 years old, that's when life starts, right? Until then, you will have to sacrifice yourself to the vegan gods, to the animals. You will have to suffer for 50 years until you finally reach that godlike detox level where you finally can feel good. Sure. Just get going and really starting to make some mm. huge changes on this world. Mm. But up till then, you should be growing and growing and growing. And then once you hit 50, you should like, sure. that's when you're growing, like starting growing, to take growing. off, not decline. Uh, okay, I have to make a little cut here. First and foremost, the, the trick that this man used, I used as well when I was a raw vegan. So that is an interesting parallel there. Then in the background, I see a tropical country. Again, nothing new, right? And in the fruitarian community, a phenomena that we can observe, no matter if you have a thick beard growth or not, people always let their beard grow out. Anyways, he's talking about this growth, right? Constantly growing, constantly evolving until we are 50 years old and then we will change. As much as the fruitarians like to believe that it is some sort of spiritual pursuit, as much is it a very egoistical pursuit, of course. He's not talking about families, he's not talking about building a community, he's talking only about himself. He stands here recording himself on the rooftop, believing to be in a position of sharing wisdom, right? This entitlement is something that you see with raw vegans, vegans, and especially people that are new to the movement. They truly believe, they downloaded the wisdom of the universe, they are embodying it, and they are an outlier, an absolute spirit specimen, a spiritual leader. Listen to me, I know it all. Very, very egoistical movement. And this will happen when you're eating meat because over mm. time, meat destroys the body. It destroys the body. <laughs> destroys <laughs> It takes a whole uh, lot. See, he needed a cut there because he didn't know how to proceed with this, right? What is the reasoning for this? Let's be real here, man. What is the reasoning for this? What is the argumentation? Why does meat destroy the body? Don't tell me that you listen to Dr. Robert Morse. Don't tell me that you listen to John Rose. Tell me why meat destroys the body. If we are talking about the plants that you are eating, you will have to acknowledge and admit that they are filled with anti-nutrients, which can be very damaging to your body, to your gut lining, so on and so forth. The fiber can be very distressing to your colon. We know that. That is factual. But why is meat destroying your body? You don't give an argument. A lot of energy 
to be a meat eater, whether human or a dog <laughs> or a lion. Yeah, tell that, to, <laughs> tell that to the lion. Just tell him, man, bro, you are expending too much energy, man. What are you doing? Go vegan, dear lion. And if we don't need to eat meat like some of these other animals, <laughs> what's the point of eating meat? If it's just going to make you have to we lay need to. around more, sleep more, be less energetic. But have you ever tried a carnivorous diet? I know you think you come from a place of understanding and knowledge because you used to eat meat. First question, how was the quality of that meat? Second question, how much meat did you eat really? Third question, did you eat only meat or did you eat it in the context of a standard American diet where you ate all kinds of things and in the end blamed it on the meat? And not as full of life and full of passion. Passion. That you could be. <laughs> and light. And You're full of passion, bro. And driving forward way mm. past 50, way past 50. Mm. To me, it's just a no-brainer and... I know plenty of meat eaters that are over 50 and pretty vibrant now thinking about it. It brings me so much... I don't know many vegans, on the other hand. ...more <clears throat> passion <clears throat> into my life. Stop. Before, I had the desire, I had passion, but it was what? dampened. It was like... Mm. It was like... It's there, but it's so faded. Mm. It's so blurred. Right. It's not clear. You, now it's clear Crystal as the sunshine. Oh, beautiful. There's a light bulb. <laughs> light bulb. Yes. When you, when you start to live on living foods. Uh, even but wait a second. Newsflash for you. There is raw meat as well, right? There is no food that is more alive than raw meat. Do you understand this? Maybe you didn't hear about it. If you just go vegan and stop eating totally dead animal foods, totally dead. it's just another level of death. Yeah, that's great. It's just another level of death. That is true. So you understood something, right? So everything that we ingest is a life form in the end. Yes, I know. But plants are not sentient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. It is all a life form, all a level of life. Meat, if you do not totally overcook it, is alive. It is by definition alive. How does a transplant work? Ever thought about that? Right, you take an alive organ and you transplant it. That is alive. You're not consuming death. It's a heavier, heavier level of death. What? <laughs> Why? You go vegan, and if you start to eat uh, raw foods or just more fruits, hmm. you're gonna start to feel less of this dampening and your true passions that are within you. No, brother, come on. Let me correct you. I've been through the whole thing myself. I'm sure that somebody will redirect you to my channel and then you will see this video. I was a raw vegan myself. I was a fruitarian myself. And in the beginning, it feels great. You are fueled on the sugars, right? You're riding the sugar roller coaster. You feel energized. But that is all you got. And after a while, you will realize that you don't have any building material. In the beginning, you mistake it for detox. That is normal. So you keep on munching on fruits. You keep on traveling the world. You eat tropical fruit. It is a whole new lifestyle. You feel energized emotionally. You feel you made the right shift. But after a while, your body cannot cope with it any longer. After a while, your body will be depleted. And what do you do then? You have no other choice but to refuel with meat. And the sooner you do it, the better it is for you. Don't step into the same trap like me or thousands of others. You can check out many ex-vegan interviews, ex-vegan stories on YouTube. You will be a future ex-vegan. That is for sure. 95% of vegans drop out of it because they cannot cope with the malnutrition. Save yourself some time and drop out now. Are going to start to shine super bright and not be able to be put out at all. Like mm. there's no way you can be put out mm. when you're moving in this direction. Wow. When you're on this path, there's no wow. way it could be put out unless you. But yes, it can be put out. As I said, 95% of people drop out. So. Unless you give up, unless you give up and you say, unless you realize you are nutritionally deficient, you are dying. I actually want a normal life actually. But that's, mm. that's a trap. You think you want a normal life, but once you go down that path mm. and you start getting older and older and older, mm. it's not a pretty image. Again, something that we observe quite often with the vegans, but especially raw vegans. They believe that this is their way to greatness. 
This way, they can really stand out. Most of the time, it is people with no particular talent, no athletes, no artists, no actors, no specific talent. And they see raw veganism as their last shot to shine, right? If I go raw vegan, I defy society. I'm really doing something special here. I am a special snowflake. That is the mentality that you see here. This man has nothing else left. This is the only way to be separated from society and to make himself believe that he is a very special human. Look at all the people you know that are living <clears throat> normal lives and that have gotten older. Is it a pretty image? Absolutely not. But tell me about the raw vegans when they get old. Is that a pretty image? I don't think so, bro. So most people, they don't actually look at the people in their lives who are older. Mm. Most people don't observe people and study people and say, do, do I want to be in that position? But did you study the raw vegan gurus? I definitely don't. There's no, <laughs> there's not a single meat eater uh. on this earth. <clears throat> that's an older person that I would want to be in their really? position when I get older. Not a single one. So you got to think about long term and not just what makes you feel comfortable right now. Mm. Because no, it's not going to make you feel comfortable right now to go completely against society. No, you actually do not go against society. Society is misled anyways. There are plenty of ways to go against society. As I said, you can be an artist, you can be an athlete and whatnot. You can achieve greatness. You can be a special person. You can go against society. I used to pursue bodybuilding when I was younger. When I was 19 years old, I was already 100 kilograms. The biggest guy in my town, right? I was going against society, if you will. But that is not the point. When we're talking about nutrition, society has no idea what they're doing. If you look into society, you will see an omnivorous diet, a standard American diet, a lot of candy, a lot of junk food, a lot of sodas. Of course, that is not good. But if you go raw vegan, you're not going against society. What you're going against is against your nature. This food doesn't taste good. This is why it doesn't feel good. It is not your species specific diet. No chance in hell can you trick your biology. And this is why you get instant biofeedback in the now. The now tells you, dude, please stop what you're doing. Please give me proper nutrition. But you do not do that because you brainwashed yourself into believing the reward will come in the future when I'm 50 years old. But that's the only way you're not going to end up like the complete rest of society. Mm. So, so the complete rest of society. Do I have to repeat myself again? In society, we have cases of perfect health and then we have cases of absolute malnutrition and then we have cases of absolute shit eating. That is society. You cannot say that all of society is just completely deluded and you have the truth by leaving your society and eating tropical fruit. Come on, man. That's my inspirational oh, thanks, bro. rant mm. for the day. I really felt wow. the need to share so beautiful, something bro. like this. Thanks, Matt. Give some motivation, inspiration, stay Cheers, on bro. the path because it is worth it. It is worth it. And the reward will come. We'll end up <laughs> in a so much better place if we oh, stay on thank it. God. Yeah. I'm already in a, you'll already be in a much better place. What? There's a lot of discomfort, a lot of things that... A lot of discomfort? Might hmm. be uncomfortable. Why? About doing something totally different. But that's what we have to do. We have to become totally different. We have to become totally different. Wow. wow. Okay, I'm gonna share some of this view. Nice. It's kinda cool. It looks better in person. Kinda, bro. But yeah. Thanks, man. See you all later. Cheers. Everyone. Wow. Bye. Bye. All right, thanks for sharing. I already feel like I evolved just by watching this video. It was so beautiful, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, dude. All right, guys, let's analyze this. What did we just see? So this man tells us that he is struggling, feeling discomfort because he goes against society. The reality of things is he is in some sort of tropical country where he knows nobody properly, running around from fruit market to fruit market, eating bananas all day long. So you do not have any social pressure. So why do you still feel bad? Hmm? Think about that. I know how it feels because, as I said, I was a raw vegan myself and a fruitarian. And I know exactly what you're experiencing. You make yourself believe that you're going against the grain. The reality of your daily life, however, is that you are not. You are alone eating 
fruits. There is nobody that will go against your belief system. This way you can get away with it. You don't have your family around. You don't have your friends around. Nobody can give you shit. You're alone eating fruits, malnourishing yourself. So therefore, if you take the societal context out of this equation, what is left? Where does the discomfort come from? Hmm. Could it be the digestion? Hmm. Could it be the malnutrition, the deficiencies? Think about it logically. This is a trap. Young people in their 20s, most of the time white westerners, fall for this. They grow their beards out, let their hairs grow long, become skinny, spend time in the tropics, munching on cheap fruit and believing that they are evolving. The reality, on the other hand, is that they're doing absolutely nothing. They're not changing society. They're not coming up with new solutions or new ideas. None whatsoever. Meanwhile, here in the carnivore community, we are thinking about regenerative agriculture, right? We are thinking about rotational grazing. How can we improve our food system? How can we create happy, healthy humans and not happy, healthy vegans? Yeah, anyway. Anyways, guys, it is enough for today. Just a quick one. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. Head over to his channel and let him know we are here for him. We wish him all the best on his recovery. If you want to support Bobby's perspective, guys, all the links are in the description box. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, guys, but this is it. As always, much love and peace.